This is me, and I'm about to destroy the piano I played growing up. And this is also me, 20 years ago, playing the same piano. I'll explain to you in a minute why I'm even doing this, and how I turned this into that. But for now, here's the most idiotic and irresponsible way of removing high tension strings from a piano. My Russian parents told me they want to throw away my old childhood piano. I got it when I was six years old. Yes, it was cheap. Yes, it was goddamn ugly. But boy, we had some good times. When I found out about it, I was mad. I was furious. I wanted to break something. Wait, what if I take my old piano, cut it open, and make a guitar out of it? I mean... Literally. So I brought the piano over to Audi Guitar's headquarters in the far regions of Tel Aviv, where we will meet Omer Deutsch. I was always fascinated by this guy's unique guitar designs and innovative approach to instrument building. If there's one guy who can pull this off, it must be Omer. You're kidding me, right? There's enough wood for a guitar, I guess. We need to figure out things like neck and fretboard. Probably use these boards for necks, the back for the body. Let's tear it apart. So we are in a tough spot. Apparently the harp and the soundboard are stuck together. We can take it apart. I'm going to do something violent. Yeah, we're gonna go in a more untraditional, not so PC approach to... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. We finally have the soundboard. We're gonna get to the soundboard soon, but first we need a body. We cut the frame of the piano to several different chunks, which we're gonna clean up, glue together to form the body of the guitar. To prepare the soundboard, we start by removing the wooden ribs that reinforce this huge piece of wood before we glue it on top of the guitar body and throw it into the CNC machine. At this point we got the guitar body ready for use, but we haven't even thought about what type of neck we want to build for this guitar, and if you're anything like me, you wouldn't settle for a standard neck. 
would you? I've used a lot of guitars during my years as a punk rocker guy, but lately, as I evolved to this uh, metalhead slash jazz pianist that I am today, I got more and more fascinated with baritone guitars. Baritone guitars are just in the middle between bass guitars and standard electric guitars. They have longer necks, and without getting into the physics of how it all works, the only thing you need to remember is a longer neck equals lower tuning. The big question that remained was, how do we design the fretboard of the guitar? And how can we use the leftover piano pieces in this design? The first thing that we thought about was inlaying the piano company logo onto the 12th fret of the fretboard, but that was simply not enough. That's when we came up with another awesome idea. So what we're doing basically is taking the actual keys of the piano, we're gonna take them apart and actually inlay them inside the... inside fretboard. the... Fretboard. Inside the fretboard, yes, the fretboard, that's how it's called. Nice. I don't know which day <clears throat> I don't know which day it is, but the neck is glued up and ready to be. Uh, the fretboard is glued up. Wow. I, I don't. You know that by now. I don't know what day it is, but the neck. Fretboard. But the fretboard is all glued up and ready to. Ready to pull out from the. Riga ehad. Anachnu tshkina pis zebifni. So we've decided to use this small thing from the piano mechanism as side dots inlays, so we have to take it apart now. Nice. This is so sad. We have to choose the clean ones. Like this is clean. Yeah. I think we can glue the neck. Let's glue the neck. I hope we can glue the neck. <laughs> they were not too early. <laughs> they have dropped next over a hundred times. <laughs> Now that we could see the whole guitar, it felt like it was missing a little bit of color. Something deep and dark that would make this cheap ass uh, piano wood look a little bit more classy. We had to experiment a while to get the exact shade of full bodied brown goodness that we wanted to paint the guitar with. I really wanted to leave the original bright stripes that were already on the soundboard as a result of us taking out the wooden ribs, so we had to cover it with masking tape before painting. We are already a couple of days into this crazy project, but there is one more very crucial piece of technology we must get our hands on before we assemble the piano bar. Of course, what I'm talking about are the electromagnetic pickups, the actual transducer coils that translate changes in magnetic fields into an electric current, essentially putting the electric in electric guitars. You didn't really think we're gonna go with standard store-bought pickups, did you? We are going to build pickups of our own. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Alon is a master craftsman who owns Coils Boutique, a Tel Aviv based custom hand wound pickup building workshop. More than anything, I was really attracted to the amount of endless research and exploration these guys do when designing their own custom pickups. We will be working with Ronen, who also works at Coils Boutique, to guide us through the process of building our own custom hand wound pickup. We are winding the pickup coil over the bobbins. What are the bobbins? These are the bobbins. Nice bobbins. Magnets and the poles come here and the coil wraps around it. Wow, 
what is the number here? Number of turns. Oh yeah, um, the number of times you wind a wire around a pickup coil is actually one of the secret ingredients of pickup designers, even the pattern of winding and the thickness of the wire. There's actually quite a few things that affect how a pickup sounds, like the type of magnets they use, the material it's made of, its size and shape, and even the wax shielding they put over the coil to protect it from guitar players' sweat. After we're finished assembling the pickups, we dip it in uh, hot wax, so all the pieces will uh, stick together and pickups won't be microphonic. It's a lot! came out amazing, easily! One of the best guitars I currently own. I even used it in the studio lately to record uh, my new Brutal Jazz album and it blew our minds. Shout out to Omer Deutsch from Audi Guitars, he builds amazing guitars. Go check out his work, also Alon Sagi from Coils Boutique. If you ever need a pickup, talk to these guys. I guess that all that is left is for me to play with myself. Mm -hmm.